Do you have a Raspberry Pi collecting dust? Well, here are five projects to get it off the shelf and back into action. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. I should have probably named this the top 10 list, but I only have videos for the first five ideas that I'm going to give you. I do have five bonus ideas after we're finished with my top five. So, coming in at number one is the Pi Weather Display Station. This is a great project, and I've had one running in my shack for over a year now. It will give you the current time, the current date, the current weather conditions, the current temperature, and it includes a radar map. It only took me a couple of hours to put it together, and I do have a full build video that I will leave linked down in the description below. It's a great piece to put in your shack and be able to just see the weather at a glance without ever having to open an app on your phone or your computer. Number two is the Pi Display. Now, I've used this the last couple of field days. Well, winter field day and summer field day. The Pi Display allows you to display different types of information onto a screen. This would include images, PDF files, web pages, uh, all sorts of different things that you can project onto that display running the Pi Display uh, application. It is an application that I have written. I've got two different videos on the Pi Display. I'll leave both of those linked down in the description below, but I have found that it really draws attention on field day to get people to come over and see what's going on on the display, and then that starts a conversation with them about what's happening there as well as what's happening with ham radio. Number three is Ham Clock. And Ham Clock is another one of those fantastic applications that I run in my ham shack all the time. This particular one sits pretty close to my Pi Weather display and it's running on a 10 inch screen. But I know a lot of hams that are running Ham Clock on a much larger display. A lot of them will even use a large television screen as their monitor and feed Ham Clock directly to the TV. It will give you a uh, current time. It will give you propagation predictions. It will give you solar weather. It'll give you a maximum usable frequency map. Uh, a whole host of other things. I believe it'll also do satellite tracking. And I can't remember exactly how many different satellites it can track. But it can put that on a map. Let you know when the next pass is going to be. What degree it's going to be in the sky. You know, direct overhead. Or is it just going to be over the horizon type pass? and it will let you know the duration of that pass. So Ham Clock is another one of those fantastic things to be running in your shack. If for no other reason, it's just really cool eye candy when you walk in the door. Number four is a Winlink Gateway. Now my Winlink Gateway has been on the air for years now and I actually have converted mine over and I'm running it on a Raspberry Pi Zero. So as you can see, it doesn't take a lot of horsepower to run a Winlink Gateway. Now this is a two meter packet gateway. It's not going to run Vara FM, but it will rely on a packet connection. But if you're in an area that has a lot of hams, but maybe not a gateway, this is a great service that you can provide to the community around you. It's also a fun project to build, and you're definitely going to learn a bit more about Winlink while you're building this system. Now, one thing to keep in mind uh, before you start following the video that I'll link below, you do have to get approval to be a Winlink sysop, and you can apply for that approval over at winlink.org. Next up is probably one of my most used projects uh, because it just sits there and works day in and day out around the clock. And that is an APRS Digipeter. Now, I have done a lot of different videos on APRS Digipeters. 
you can build one with just a bow fang if you just want to run a little experiment. I probably wouldn't run that long term, but it is perfectly capable with a bow fang. Now my APRS Digipeter is running on a Raspberry Pi 3, so once again you don't have to have a lot of horsepower to run a Digipeter. I happen to be using an old signal link that I had laying around, but if you don't have that and you were going to buy something, I would probably pick up the DigiRig sound card. It performs spectacular as an APRS Digi sound card. To go along with that, I've got a Yezu FTM 2980. In fact, I've got a couple of those, one running the gate, the Winlink Gateway and the other one running my APRS Digi. Those are fantastic radios built like a tank and mine have been in service for a couple of years now running around the clock and I've had zero issues. So if you don't have good APRS uh, coverage in your area, the Digipeter is a fantastic project to pull that Raspberry Pi off the shelf and put it into service. Now, a couple of others here that I want to throw out as bonuses. First up is an MMDVM. Now, you can buy these right off the shelf, but you can also build them from parts. All of the code is open source and freely available. You will have to pick up a hat to go on top of the Raspberry Pi, depending on which uh, Pi you're starting with will dictate which hat you're going to buy. But it is a fantastic project if you're interested in uh, Yezu System Fusion or DSTAR or DMR. It will allow you to get on the air with those modes just using your HT to talk to the hotspot. Now, I leave mine just sitting in the shack running all the time, but I know guys that put these in their car, tether them to their mobile phone's hotspot, and use them while they're traveling down the road. Not something I do, but if that's your cup of tea, that's a way to get it up and running in the car. Now, the next one I don't know a tremendous amount about, but Jason, Ham Radio 2.0, loves these things and that's an all-star node. I do know that all-star can be used for repeater linking, and it can also be used to tie a PBX system to a radio. There are other ways to use it, and I'm pretty sure that Jason's done a couple of videos on that. So if you want to know more about an all-star node, head over to Ham Radio 2.0 and search for all-star. Now, if you're into mesh networking like Arden, I've got a couple of different projects for you. Well, actually, this could maybe branch out into several more different projects. First up is a PBX system. A PBX system uh, can run on a Raspberry Pi. In fact, I've been running one for probably five or six years now in my shack connected to my Arden node. The PBX will allow you to assign phone numbers to other hams, and you can use a telephone system through your uh, local Arden node. It's just another one of those cool little projects to set up and learn about and provide a valuable service to others on your mesh system. Now, while we're talking about Arden, another great use for a Raspberry Pi is just building a simple web server. Well, what would you want to do with that web server? Actually, you can do several things, and some of them you can combine onto the same Raspberry Pi and have it doing multiple projects. Maybe you just want to uh, provide an actual web, uh, like a web page to the people that visit your web server. In that case, you could install something like WordPress on the Raspberry Pi and present your web page to anyone that visits your node through the Arden Mesh. Maybe instead of a website, you want a forum. You could use something like PHPBB to build out a forum that uh, would allow others visiting your node to create posts, just like you see on sites like groups.io. You could just use it for a simple file server, or if you really wanted to get creative, you could install Nextcloud and allow Nextcloud to host the files for you on your web server. And finally, one of the things I use my web server for on the Arden network is mesh chat. And the reason I like to host a mesh chat node on the Arden mesh is it, well, A, it allows for redundancy on the mesh because it will sync up with the other uh, mesh chat clients on the system. But in addition to that, it allows a much larger uh, storage capacity for hosting files. So instead of running a separate file server or Nextcloud, I just run mesh chat and anyone can store files 
own the Raspberry Pi for later retrieval. Last up on the list is something not directly ham radio related, but I know a lot of ham radio operators that are into 3D printing. If that's you, check out something called OctoPrint. OctoPrint will allow you a lot of control over your 3D printer. It'll also allow you to move files over the network. You can even attach a camera to the Raspberry Pi and monitor your 3D prints from anywhere in the world. So there you have it, guys. There's 10 different ideas, maybe a few more if you branch out the web server, of ways you can get your Raspberry Pi off the shelf and into the game. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.